Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week here on YouTube. And this series is all about business and branding and marketing and so, so much more. So for this video, I figured I would dive into exactly what being an independent artist means, because this is becoming like a big wave right now where a lot of people are choosing to stay independent but the one thing that people don't realize and that I didn't realize when I first started is how much of a business you are like it's not just you as an artist and you just make music and like you do a bit of marketing here and there and stuff like you're a full-blown business at the end of the day and so being independent means that you have to control every aspect of your brand so for somebody like me, a little bit of a control freak, that is just perfection for me, like I'm in my element. But at the same time, it has a lot of stressful sides to it, especially when it comes to things that you don't really enjoy doing. And especially at the beginning, when you're first starting out and you don't have a team like myself, I'm just doing it all myself. It means that you have to literally be doing every single area of the business yourself, not just marketing and branding, not just the music creation, but like even simple admin tasks like putting it up on streaming stores or even on YouTube when I have to edit the videos and then do all of the thumbnails and like the descriptions and titles there's just a lot of admin things that you don't really think about when you're first starting out and especially if you don't have a team you're gonna have to do all of it yourself which is a part of building any kind of business not just music it can be any business because like when you're starting out in any area any industry you have to do it all for yourself to get it up up and running and off the ground so you are having to do all of these different little jobs and wear so many hats to be able to master all of these skills in a million different areas. So it can be stressful and it can be overwhelming and it can be a lot of work. So I feel like it's important to talk about the like downsides of it and the difficult sides of it rather than it just being like this incredible popular thing that's happening right now and not even in just music there's a lot of like entrepreneurs and people that want to start businesses and so many people that have built businesses off of YouTube and all of these different kind of things like makeup and stuff so I know that it can be done and is so possible and is so incredible but it's also important to really realize what you're getting yourself into when you decide to do it independently or decide to create a business is that it's not just all of the like creative fun parts you have to do all of the other back-end things that people don't notice because there's usually a machine full of millions of people helping like create a whole team and an infrastructure especially with major labels they have so many staff so much infrastructure and like foundation laid of the systems in place of how things move smoothly how you get things done in such a timely manner kind of thing and this is like the main thing that I've had to learn for myself is how to create those structures where I'll be consistent in getting things done so it's like clockwork kind of thing where it just happens automatically and I always get the certain things done like post at the right time and release a song at the right time and all of those things you know you have to build that um, infrastructure of a system to make it all run smoothly so there's a lot to it but I also feel like there's so many um, pros to it as well and I have got a video about the difference between being signed and being independent if you want to check that out for more info on that but to me being independent is literally owning everything it's having control over every aspect of your business so you own your copyright your products you own everything to be honest and you do the hiring and firing of your team as you get bigger and start to build a team like it's literal ownership and control and creative input over every part of your brand to me that's what independence is and I mean you can see independence in so many businesses where they've built from the ground up like people have started in their garages or in their shed or in a bedroom in their house you know like that's literally being, being independent there's no investors they've just built it from the ground up and a record label is an investor so if you're doing it independently you're just doing it without the investment financially and like the support of a machine that's already running and already knows the best 
methods to do in in order to like grow your brand and build it and reach your audience so you're starting from ground zero and doing it yourself and that is that can be difficult and can be overwhelming but it's also just so rewarding to know that you've done it all yourself and that you have the full ownership and full creative control so i hope this video was helpful thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because i do upload three times a week and check out the description box below for all links to my music my social media my phone number my jewelry and so so much more about me and also if you have any video topics that you want me to talk about you can definitely leave a comment down below or you can dm me or you can text or whatsapp me <laughs> so many options but yeah so i'll see you in next week's video thank you so much for watching bye you could say i love you i can't get enough boy i just want you to myself i don't need you when i fuck you need you when you touch me i just want you to myself